Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show how to host your static website in the S3 bucket and setting up the cloud front in the AWS service itself and creating the ACM. In this video, I'm not showing, going to show the Route 53 configuration because I have a dedicated video. I will show in the uh, coming up uh, uh, next step, next topic. So first we have to create the S3 bucket in the AWS account. So you can see here, I have no any S3 bucket in my AWS account. So I am going to create one my account S3 bucket, and this is should be in the unique and leaving as the same. And don't uncheck this option. Leave it as the same. And if you need any uh, bucket versioning, you can enable it. Otherwise, uh, go with the default. I am going with the default create a bucket once your bucket is uh, successfully created so i have no any objects this is my local website test website you can see here i can able to move on to the next part of the website you can see project like that this is the local uh, accessing website so what I'm going to do, I'm going to adding the objects here, add your test websites normally. Once you successfully uploaded, come back here, you can observe here one thing. This should be is blocked, is not enabled publicly. And the policy, what you're seeing here, that is a blank pol bucket policy the block is blank so come to here in the cloud front click on the create a cloud front distribution if you are new and i am going giving as an embedded static s3 bucket and in the name in the domain i am going to give harish shetty dot xyz check domain we found a route 53 zone file in your account so you can uh, automatically manage your dns for you if you done the route 53 here you can see route 53 I configured previously. I'm not going to show you. Go to the hosted zone. Click on your configured route 53 hosted zone. Here you can see the I configured everything previously because it takes uh, some time to do configuration. It takes almost 30 minutes uh, for uh, updating the day name servers. If you need this video, I will show in my screen go to my channel here you can see the playlist ssl tls awc aws click on the playlist in the playlist uh, you can watch the uh, this video or this video both are same but uh, don't follow the acm uh, steps only follow the road 53 steps if you find any difficulty i have my personal uh, website go to this website arishinshetty.github.io I will give it in the description box below here on the left side go to the projects click on the AWS projects once you're done click on the image here and click this image it will redirect to the uh, next page you can watch the video only you watch the route 53 part don't follow the ACM because I given the ACM for the uh, wildcard entry that will not help here click on the next in the origin uh, origin type you can see multiple options so uh, what we are doing is we are hosting a website in the s3 right so i am selecting the s3 here and the s3 origin is uh, click on you can't able to list it over here so what i am going to give click on the browse s3 here you can find out what you created in the previously the bucket you have to select in my case i have only one bucket once it done here you can see the 
allow private SRE bucket access to close friend recommended. So leave it as the same. Click on the next. Here they are recommending to enable the WAF. So I am not enabling the WAF. Click on the next now. Once it done, we could not find any ACM certificate in the US region. So in the certificate, you can see the what if you are creating a CloudFront uh, distribution, you have to in the you have to create the AC uh, certificate in the North Virginia, not any specific region. Only you have to uh, create in the North Virginia. So you can see I have a certificate, but there is a wild card. It will not uh, going to detect here. What I am going to do now? Create wild card entry. I am not uh, selecting here. Create certificate. What I, it automatically certificate is uh, going to create the certificate and updating the certificate values to the route 53 and confirming the certificate validation through the route 53. It is a simple step to do. Other we have to manually go into create your requesting and you have to follow all the steps. So instead of doing all these things, you can easily doing these things. Click on the next. Once everything is done, click on the create distribution. See here, one thing I will show you in here, you can see there is a last modified thing is uh, deploying. It should show some uh, data uh, like time or date. This is the URL to access the website. So this is a static uh, local accessing website. So here you can see there is a, I can't able to access it from the CloudFront URL. We have to wait for some time. And I'm mean going to show you, you can see here there is a, another certificate is issued in the ACM without the wildcard entry. Uh, right now I'm going to pause the video for this some time. I will come back when it's done uh, accessing the deployment state to the some another daytime state. Actually, you can see my browser here. That one is still deploying, but here we are getting an error message access denied. Why? Because we are not redirecting the path. We are just browsing the current path. So here you can give index.html is going to open, but uh, most of the case we can't do like this index that is manually we can't able to type, right? So we have to configure in the cloud front option. Let's try to, I will show, I said now previously. See here, in the previous I shown the bucket policy is blank. Now is a bucket policy something a configuration file was updated here because the call friend only accessing the S3 bucket or no other public can able to access your bucket. This is the main thing and come back to your cloud front. There it is. Yeah, this is the cloud front. Here, when you click on the clone front to your profile, here you can see the settings. In this block, in this block, go to edit here. You can see edit. Here you can see the name of your domain and what the TLS is uh, selected. Just I am showing it. And the default route object. Here I am going to give index.html right now we are getting a access denied right so when you done this thing is going to serve this page automatically we have to wait for some time yeah you can see I am just refresh the page uh, is loaded successfully. You can see I can able to access. Uh, I have only the project index file I can able to access, but I, I don't have any this uh, file. The, that's why that is saying access denied. So now we have to configure the road 53, right? This thing is done and 
what I am going to do in the route 53. Create record, select the create record. If you not done the route 53, you have go and watch my YouTube uh, playlist video. Uh, here you select the year record and the alias cloud front distribution. Here it will uh, list the details what you created in the cloud front in the previously. Select this thing and just the simple routing is enough and uh, click on the create record. Once the record is created, we have to wait for uh, 5 to 10 minutes. Other, see, let us try to access from the domain. See, I can able to access the website through the domain, through the road 53. And this is the video to understand and see the configuration and setup, setup details instructions from S3 bucket and CloudFront ACM and Route 53 and the accessing website to the domain. If you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. Once again, thanks for watching the video.